Yo, what's going on guys? Robert Warshak here. We're going to be taking a look at new Invoke Shaman. Prior to the expansion, Shaman wasn't really seen a lot. It wasn't very popular. Invoke Shaman, as we know, was super, super good at the start of Descent of Dragons. It's like tier one, everybody's playing it. And then they nerfed a couple cards in the deck. Other decks became more popular. And then Invoke Shaman became a meme, became basically the one of the worst decks kind of the play. Not to say you couldn't have success with it, but obviously its main popularity was lost. So with this new expansion actually brought some interesting new cards to the deck. The deck actually performs fairly well on ladder. It does really, really well against Demon Hunter uh, because it does have a good amount of freeze, a good amount of healing, a good amount of taunts. And overall, uh, it's really hard for them to deal with two 8-8s that have Rush as well. So with that, we're going to take a look in the deck, explain each and every card in the deck, go over why it's in there. And then from there, we're going to head into some games. You're going to see how well this deck actually is doing on ladder. Surprisingly, it's, a, it's actually a good amount of fun as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can replicate that. So Mutate. Originally, this card in combination with the Flesh Shaper before it was nerfed was like one of the most powerful combos alongside the, sh uh, the, the Galakron itself, right? And then it kind of died off because they increased the mana cost by two. Even though the mana cost has been increased by two, the amount of swarm decks and super aggro decks that are on ladder right now, getting this guy out is very, very easy, surprisingly, along with your invoke and, again, how fast-paced the meta is, being able to get this guy out on the board. He kills a minion, then you go ahead and mutate them. The 10-drop pool is actually really nice now. As long as you don't get King Pharos, all of the other 10-drops are exceedingly powerful and very, very good. So Mutate Flesh Shaper is your main combo, but not to say you can't use Mutate on cards like Walking Fountain after it attacks twice. It has like two or three one HP. You use it, you get a free nine drop. You also can use it, of course, on the Corrupted Elementalist, the Lurk Below, the Devoted Maniac. Um, Mutate has a ton of good hits in this deck. Don't think you just have to use it on one card. And it's really, really powerful, surprisingly. Uh, Sludge Slurper, back up to a one mana 2-1. Good card, generates lackeys. Lackeys are good. Invocation of Frost, we run all of the invoke cards besides... Uh, we'll cover it in a second. But we run all of them besides one copy of one. Uh, this is really good against Demon Hunter when you know they're going to do their inner demon combo with their like lifesteal weapon to heal a ton. It's also good against any sort of class that has a weapon out, period, uh, because you can freeze them. It's also good to use on a minion if they have a really big minion out. Just overall, Invocation of Frost is very solid far side is our basic main draw mechanic in the deck even though it's not that good it still opens up a lot of possibilities far siding into galakron walking fountain flesh shaper things like that just open up new doors and uh basically allow you to cheat out things earlier than they should come out because you're paying the upfront cost of three for this card because it gets discounted by three moving to lady vash alongside cards like lightning storm the plus one spell damage is good in general plus she's statted really nice when she dies uh, she goes into your deck when you draw her uh you replay her and you get to draw three spells spells from your deck a lot of the spells from your deck cost three or more looking at lightning storm and farsight and dragons pact and hex so being able to draw all three of those cards reduce their cost is just really really sick because this deck again doesn't have a ton of draw uh, lightning storm really good field clear i hate the card in itself it's good field clear but i hate it it two to three damage is such like a big difference like doing two damage or doing three damage like there's nothing the player can do to do one of the others just random and that's not what you want to see in your aoe every time i talk about this card i talk about how poorly designed it is but and we have to play it right now because of all the aggro marsh spawn one of the new cards three mana three four stats are good if you cast a spell last turn discover a spell really good shaman has a lot of great spells and in this deck there's a, a good amount of spells in itself so being able to trigger this guy is really not that hard uh, devoted maniac again the invoke card we run galakron we run invoke stuff that's just how it works two hexes uh, this is to play it's really good against priest because you hex their minion and then they have a chance to bring back the frog it's good against basically anything with death rattle and it's good against any big minion so we run two hexes of course moving to bander he's more of a meme card you don't have to play him in the deck he's just a nice little fun five drop this deck really only has the two shield of galakron and the dragon's pack for five drop i like to have five five drops just because it's five five drops <laughs> uh, but yeah he's he's a decent card but not not, not to think he's like a staple in the deck you, he's kind of like the flex spot right but he can win you some games. He can lose you some games. He's a terrible top deck. He's a terrible target to hit with Farsight. Again, he's more of a fun card, guys. If you want to play like a Harrison Jones for draw against Demon Hunters, that's really good. If you want to tech in a Swamp Booze or if you want to tech in like a Witch's Brew, all those are acceptable. Banner Smoss, again, just a fun card. Uh, Dragon's Pact, really good card. I didn't, you probably won't even see it in the games because I actually forgot to put it in the deck. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I definitely needed to put it in the deck. And uh, yeah, five mana summon, two, four, fives with taunts, amazing. Shield of Galakron, it's just an invoke card. So only one Corrupted Elementalist. And that's because 
it invokes twice, which means if we were to run two six drop to invoke once, it's kind of like the same thing as just run running one of her. Most of the time, we're going to be able to hit her invokes anyway, especially when we can hit them twice. And then, yeah, she's just like not that good of a card anymore. Five mana, even in this meta, isn't even broken. She was like mediocre, right? She's good, but she's not like amazing. And now that we have like all these new cards like Demon Hunter that just have a really powerful base set and a bunch of new cards that are exceedingly powerful, I would have liked to see this go back to five just because of like power level of everything else has gone up and this card is still like this card's just bad like this is just a bad card six mana three three like so we only run one of her because she's again a bad card uh cronks uh we play galakron we play cronks that's how it functions uh lurker below it's our field clear we don't run a lot of them we have lightning storm and that's basically it the reason you don't need field clear in this deck is because our invoke mechanic is our field clear we summon two ones that have rush that constantly allow us to pick off the minions on our opponent's side of the board so basically they shouldn't really have giant board states because we're constantly picking them off and if they do manage to make a giant minion we hex it down so um that's why the lurk of blue is pretty good galakron running a galakron deck gotta run galakron summoning two eight eights with rush a five two weapon and gaining five armor and a new hero power that summons a rush guy it's good walking fountain we don't necessarily need to run the witch's brew because we have walking fountains which when they come out they have rush they have life steal they have wind fury they heal us for eight automatically most of the time they live uh from there we mutate or the round two starts and our opponent has to trade into them we gain 12 but witch's brew is good if you want to play it in here but the reason i don't have them in this particular list is because we do have walking fountain which is a fantastic card and then of course we covered the flesh shaper with the mutate it's one of the first things we covered so with that let's head into the games and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Good chance he has both, right? Oh, <laughs> Caesar. What's going on, man? Your time ends now. All right, I'm not sure what kind of paladin he's running, so we're just going to keep this kind of uh, semi-aggressive hand. You done streaming? You still streaming? Uh, this is called Serpent Shrine Portal. Okay. It's actually a pretty sick counter, homie. TFW. You're making a comic and the most powerful character isn't the main character or the villain, but the random dude they meet up, meet at the pub. There you go. There was a, um... It was a funny, it reminds me of the, um, what is it, uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Holy shit, does this guy know he just helps me out a ton by doing that? Yeah, and Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> the, um, the fucking bar guy. He uses the sun as power. Dude, that guy is such a fucking meme. Holy shit. Escanar, yeah. Holy shit, that pompous fucking guy. He's so funny, dude. He's like, he doesn't even introduce him as that guy. He's just like that little, like, scrawny bartender. And then, like, all of a sudden, and, like, a couple scenes later, he turns into this fucking god. You're like, holy shit. Good turn, Shaq. Good turn. I pick the Plague because he runs the buff cards. That when he uses the buffs, I'm going to be able to Plague and it gets rid of him. So when he dies, he doesn't get it back to his hand. If I'm alive and well, will you be there holding my hand? 
I ended up not being able to do what I wanted to do, but I think it's okay. A good explorer comes prepared. How's the game volume? Can the game volume go up, guys? I think Hearthstone's volume can go up, right? Because when I'm in the, when I go back into the recording, it, I feel like it's kind of low. Your feeble magic. Yeah, let's put it to six. What was that four? So we'll put it to six. Let me know how that. Let me, let me know how that works out. Yo, uh, generics with the follow. Welcome, man. Welcome, user. I need just uh, two more Galakron cards. I wish you could mutate a uh, an opponent's minion. I feel like that would actually be pretty good. Dude, stop giving me mutate, man. Spell power cutter? Never spell power. Alright, so we're gonna be fountaining, trading, and then evolving, right? Oh yeah, we could trade, trade, evolve. Unless he buffs this again, which would be really scary. Okay. Yeah, we got a problem. Got a problem, chat. The sweeter. got a text from a random number I don't have that's hello Robert but there's like two little O's Who's this? damn he got his light ward thing back I feel like this is the point in the game where I get Becca smashed <laughs> It's like way too late in the game for this guy to really make big impacts. If I play this... I mean, I'm dead if I don't. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. And then I got the new Murloc. I'm in it, chat. I'm fucking in it, dude. Bonder, dude. Bonder smash, dude. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? The plays. Don't be dead, chat. No, 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 no. I'm dead. He needs one damage. I'm going to throw oh, I'm alive at one. I'm alive at one. I have one HP, chat. And a tree. The ocean's turn. I have to do this, even though he's like, you know, very not big. I need something good here. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Yes! 
Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Yes, Becky, yes. Oh, yes. Give me that shit. Saved by Bander. Oh, God, what a game. You'll love to see it. You just... You, you, you just... You just love to see a chat. You just love to see a chat. There's things that are cool. There's things that are not cool, chat. And that's fucking cool. Lady Vash versus Brawl. It's a bot? Yeah. That's what I figured. It's fucking weird, dude. People fucking weird, dude. It's me. It's a bait. I, it definitely is a bait. I'll block the number. If it doesn't, uh... Like, I asked a question. I actually asked two questions. So if it just, like, responds back immediately... I, th I think it already responded back immediately and it ignores my message, then it's a bot. Yeah. What app? I don't know. It's just uh, some random fucking number. Who do you, who do you think you are? I kind of want to just like kill that card. Just go in and beat him down. It wasn't even on an app. It, they, 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 it was direct text message to me. It was like, is this Rob? And I said Robert, which was weird. Because I'm not, I don't post Robert on anything. Uh, Juno with the follow just five minutes ago. Thanks, man. No, we got another one totem. What the fuck? What kind of wiener schnitzel is going on here? You know what I should have done? I should have traded the one one in. That was my bad. Juno! <laughs> yeah, it's Juno X Gaming who dropped a follow. Lady Rasho. Stat wise, she's good. And ability wise, she's good too. What's up? Not much, man. Just hanging out. Just hanging out, man. Hopefully he doesn't, like, plague a murloc me. Is that the real Juno from Raffle stream? Oh, we got some, uh... Some stream crossover? I thought you were looking for some quarantine poon on the tinder. No, no, no. Don't mention Raffle. Rob hates wild. No, it's not that. It's the hate's a deep word, man. Hate is a deep word. I wouldn't say I hate wild. I'm just not a big fan of it. I, well, Raffle has to be doing some good things because his YouTube was uh, smaller than mine when I first saw him. And now it's quite a bit bigger than mine. So he must be doing something really right with the, uh, you know, YouTube stuff. Does anybody in here watch the raffle? You know what, chat? I just now realized I don't have the Galakron's five mana wolf card in this deck. <laughs> I, I literally just realized I am missing one of the best cards in the deck. <clears throat> I should probably put that card in the deck chat. <laughs> Raffle is great, like Solemn. Don't watch Dan though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really watch other people's YouTube stuff. I'm kind of too wrapped up in mine. But I definitely know who's like popular, right? You gotta know your competition, man. Oh. Oh. 
feel like that worked out pretty well for him. Oh! Oh! How about you simmer with all this? How about we, uh, we play that calm card? Where you calm the fuck down. I have plays for days, but... Let's draw some cards. See myself coming up and round up and I'm not coming down. You're the only Hearthstone streamer I watch regularly. I appreciate that. Glad to keep it interesting. Dude, I can't believe I literally don't have dragons packed in the stack chat. <laughs> I literally forgot to include the card. This guy's gonna be mad when he sees a randomly generated earthquake coming out of my ass. I don't even know what I would take out, chat. Like, what the heck do we even take out for the, uh, you know, the, the spoochers? Goodbye! <laughs> song is such a banger. Yeah, let's heal for as much as we can. Oh, big Papa. The Big Papa. The Moon. Big, Big Papa. I have not played Evolve Shaman yet. The biggest of Papas. <laughs> No, so uh, I actually changed one of our um, our animations, or, or actually one of our sound bits for uh, subs. So we'll see if uh, that hits. It, I changed it to something that I had recorded a really, really long time ago. Hold on. Draw three spells. Reduce their cost by three. Like, that's not even... Maybe Lady Bash in this deck doesn't make sense. But, I mean, it's good with the doggos. If we start taking out all the new stuff and just put in the old stuff, what the fuck, man? What has happened? What is going on? I can't take out the mutate. Oh no. Oh, we've got war. Yeah, the boss is next, boys. We're gonna need we're gonna need some uh please tell me it worked. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to rope turn out. Alright, uh yeah, the boss is next. We're gonna need, we're gonna need some legendary homies. How does the war game work? Uh you just link your uh Link your Twitch to the game, and then you play off your browser. Is wearing off. Uh, these are my people. These are my friends. Oh, just five mana for Deathwing. What a deal. <laughs> what a steal, chat. Maybe I should have kept the uh. Invocation. Like, what a steal. I can summon a 5 mana 5-5 five, five that discards all the cards in my hand. Think about the value. I want to play Fey Wing here, right? Or do I want to play our Marsh Spawn? I like the Marsh Spawn because we played the uh, Activator for him. It's so funny. Every room in the house, someone's playing a video game right now. There's literally Tony is streaming two rooms down. Cora's sister is playing Final Fantasy. And then Cora's in... The at their bedroom playing uh, Animal Crossing. A house full of gamers. I should have fucking played this guy. Damn it. I forgot to attack. Damn it, I'm playing like shit. I need to go to the bathroom. That's my problem. What to do?
All right, everything's fine. Oh my god, I now if I attack, it's just gonna kill the units I just played. Holy shit. I literally came back and made a giant misplay. Holy fuck. I wasn't paying it. Oh my god, please. Let me just concede this game. It's just been all misplays. Holy shit. I didn't even notice he had a secret down. I thought he just didn't play anything. Ah. Oh. Being a fucking full blown fucking Papega right now. Alright, we need to shape up, chat. Shape up. Did I finish my coffee? No. We're finishing the coffee. We're shaping up, boys. Alright, main deck secret. It's probably another fr Oh, he's freezing these? That's interesting. Lore Walker Cho. Jade Serpent guide you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Holy shit. What you got, man? Give me your spells. Bander smash into lore walker. I've lost my mind chat <laughs> Holy shit Oh no, I don't have any secrets in my deck chat Will he play the secret cuz then he'll tell me what a secret it is If he plays Flame Strike, my four or five lives, which is why I played him. He hasn't played a minion yet, so is he all spell mage? Yeah, we posted our video today. Let's see how it's doing, boys. Oh, we also got a new message on Bumble. Let's check it out, boys. Oh, she's cute. Swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. All right, well, that was a two word response. We're not, nope, not responding back to that one. That's going to get an unmatched. The video is popular. People are choosing it more often from recommendations and watching it longer than usual. Fantastic, boys. The problem is our sub count's not going up. Our sub count literally hasn't gone up in like two days. Which I don't really understand. He played a new secret. He already played two flame wards, so that's going to be a counter spell. Yeah, I'm kind of confused with the subs right now because we were getting like 20 to 30 subs a day for about a month and then it just stopped. So I think YouTube is having some issues because there's no way that subs haven't changed in three days. Actually, let's look at the stats and see what it says is going on. And are we losing as many subs as we're gaining? Show so me family. Oh shit, Archmage again. Feels good. Alright, let's check the stats. Views are up. Your channel got 178,000 views in the last 20 days. That's good, that's good. Look at that revenue. I make a total of almost $200 a month off YouTube. I'm so fucking rich. YouTube is just such a money maker, boys. I'm gonna retire soon. I'm gonna retire soon. Uh, how do I go to... Where's, uh... Where's subs? I don't give a fuck at... The only... I don't give a fuck about any of this. Where's subs? Reach? No, engagement? No, audience? Subs. Subs the last seven days. I like their old, this new analytics system fucking sucks. Get this shit out of here. Yeah, every time YouTube tries to make like new ways to look at information, it's literally garbage. Look at this old way. I literally just go click on subs and it shows me subs. Yeah, so we got 23 subs, 10 subs, and then zero subs. Then, then eight subs and then three subs, yeah. 
the fuck's going on with the subs? Uh, last 28 days. Yeah, this is 28 days worth. Let's look at, uh, this... Let's look at this quarter. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Of course, you Reno in the first half of you. So, in the first half of this deck, he's drawn Reno. Oh my god. So, in the first half of his deck, he drew both Flame Strikes and Reno, and then his Reno cast Plague of Death. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Feels good to be that guy. I feel like conceding <laughs> just because of that. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Seems like a terrible time to actually no, that's actually a pretty good time to use that card, but I feel like you would have rather you'd have wanted to wait, right? Because then I feel like you would have got more value. But I guess if you just high roll it, right? And you happen to draw. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He just drew like a bunch of zero mana things. Are you kidding me right now, dude? <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? No counter spell? Oh. Okay. Just gave my totem wind fury. Hogs. I mean, I can still draw the point on my deck, which is Kronks or Galakron, so. Not if he top decks a Pyroblast, though. Alright, we're still alive. Always, I know, you'll be at my show. Okay. Beat him down. I drew one card in the first half of my deck. That was good. That's good, Chad. That's good. Yeah, if this guy... Loses this match. No minion mage or whatever mage deck he's playing is the worst thing I've ever seen. Because he is... he. It's been... Between me misplaying like four times. Having both flame strikes. Getting a random plague of death. Having Reno. Getting the Kel'Thuzad off the power of creation. Getting a free pyroblast. Drawing a bunch of cards. Getting two free secrets. Dealing 20 damage. In one turn. I think he should win. <laughs> oh my god. It's a flame ward? No. Uh, it's a, um, it's probably an ice barrier. Oh no, it can't be an ice barrier. Attack with a weapon. Um, it's a uh, maybe a mere entity. What would make us? I will not go. Turn the lights on. Carry me home. What the fuck? Holy shit, it was a randomly generated flame ward. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Another one. Another one, boys. Just another one.